Does a free campsite set on the beautiful Condamine River sound too good to be true? Well, here at Four Wheels on the Road this week, we're here to check out the fantastic Passmore Reserve. It's a free camp that allows 72 hours of camping per week. So let's go take a look. Passmore Reserve is around about 2 hours and 20 minutes west of Brisbane. There's a couple of different options you have for getting there. You can head up to Toowoomba and down from there where it's about 40 minutes away. Or you can head through Gatton and head through the Clifton area off the New England Highway, which is the way that we're going today. If you haven't taken this drive before, it's one I definitely recommend. It's a really fantastic drive. You've got lots of long winding roads and you've got a ton of different scenery along the way. You're going through scrub, forest and farmlands on big plains as well. Beautiful drive. This looks like a good spot. I think we'll get set up. We're not really going to be up to too much today in terms of doing anything. There's not a great deal to do here anyway. You know, you can just sort of sit and look at the river and that's about it really, but that's what I was after this weekend. I just wanted a couple of really quiet days away where I didn't have to worry about anything and I could just be completely still. It's a huge site here with a ton of space. It's really well maintained as well, so it's a pretty pleasant surprise to actually come up here and find this place. I basically, this week away, just wanted to come and check out a place that I hadn't been to before in terms of a free camp and this one's actually pretty nice. One thing I will say about the uh, site though is you need to be self-sufficient here. There are no bathrooms here, no toilets here. There's a couple of covered tables that are available on site here and you've also got bins. Unfortunately, the site at the moment is a little bit muddy because there's been a ton of rain in Queensland over the last about month and a half. It's only just on the roads that it's uh, muddy. Just where you actually camp on the main campsite, as you'll see here, is fine. And the site itself is fantastic. The area here is really well maintained as well, so I'm not sure what particular council looks after it or who it's looked after by, but it's a pretty good looking place. All the rain we've had here recently, it's a little bit wet underfoot in a few of the places down here right by the river. So I can see there are quite a few opportunities and options to be able to park and camp right next to the water like here, for example. But just due to the volume of rain that we've had over the last two or three months, it really doesn't look tenable at the moment. You can see there's tire tracks down here. So you can park right on the water. Here would be just a fantastic spot. You can just walk down to this little uh, inlet here and just sit by the river all day. All right, well now that we've had a bit of a look at the place, I think it's time we'll go back to camp now and just uh, chill out and read a book for the rest of the afternoon. We'll see you in a bit. All right, well it's that time of the day. Time for some rest and relaxation. Beautiful here. So, so quiet. Cannot hear anything other than the wind and the birds. Just amazing. It's a great little place. Well, good morning. Beautiful sleep last night, I'll tell you what. It's one of the things about places like this that are out in the middle of nowhere. All you can hear is the wind and the water and the birds. It's just amazing. You can get a really, really good sleep in. It's about nine o'clock now, I think. I haven't even looked. Woke up to the sounds of 
galahs and kookaburras very early and then just kind of drifted back off to sleep. Great little place this, I'm really digging it. I think I'll have to come back here again and check it out when it's a little bit drier. You know, there's so many things you can do along the Condamine River. It's just a gold mine right back down the range there, Queen Mary Falls, 14 crossings, a ton of different things to do. I think today we're just going to uh, really, really slowly take our time and get up and go and sit by the river again for a little bit. When this place is dry, it would be just amazing. Unfortunately, you can't get down, as I mentioned yesterday, right down to the river at the moment, which is a bit of a bugger, but there's tons and tons of space here anyway to camp in the middle and down by the river as well. You could fit three or 400 cars here, it's huge. As you hear in the background as well, you've got galahs that live throughout the place here. There are hundreds of them. And as I woke up this morning as well, there were tons and tons of kookaburras around, which was just amazing. The other great thing about this place is that you're miles away from anywhere. So I'm here midweek now and not a single person here. So fantastic little place. It is a bit of a, a way to get here and uh, a little bit off the beaten track, so to speak. But, you know, as I always say, for free camps, you can't beat places like this. If they're, if they're away from main roads and off the beaten track and you can find a, a, you know, a, a great little spot like this that's got nobody in it, that's free, fantastic. Well, that's it from us this week up here at Passmore Reserve. It's been a fantastic weekend. Let me know what you think of the place down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the channel. I really do appreciate that. I'll see you next time we get four wheels on the road.